Well, hey, everyone, I hope you're doing well today. Um, I would like to just to inform you that we're going to start doing YouTube Live um, starting next week. Sunday. That would be Sunday. And I'm excited about it. So you can start finding us as the Father's House, Myrtle Beach on YouTube. And we can also watch our services live. So if you're out of town and you don't want to miss a service, yep. Uh, yep, we'll probably start broadcasting at... 10 30 a.m. and it's on YouTube live and also it will archive the services just in case you miss them and you want to watch them or you want to watch it again yeah I mean one of the things especially with what's been coming out um, like last Sunday I heard great reports about what you and Pat McClendon did as far as a message and um, you know trying to make it easily accessible for people that were out of town or stuck in the mud like I was on Sunday yeah. uh, some different things uh, that, that's kind of our goal we want to make it as easy as possible for you to capture the content because what's coming out is vital in understanding our identity and then how to move forward both individually and as a, a corporate family here at the church. That's right. And because of that as well, I've asked Stephen if he would do a three-week series for us. Uh, Stephen has an amazing gift to teach and um, I've known him for four, over four years yeah. now and, and I've enjoyed every time he teaches. I've learned something and I, and I have my mind challenged and renewed. And I think it would be a great service to our church and everybody out there watching if you can get a hold of these messages or even be here in person, which I always love being there in person because the impartation is yeah. so much different. Uh, but if you can't be there, take time to go to the YouTube channel and check it out. Starting this Sunday, YouTube Live, and then the three-week series with you, Stephen. Yeah, and we're, we're just going to continue the theme um, that we've been on for the last few months, what you guys have been on as a church, even this pursuit of what real family, real relationship, and community looks like um, by studying the life of Jesus and seeing that we have the opportunity to walk in the same ways that he walked while he was here on Spirit. the earth, empowered by the Spirit. Mm -hmm. And um, two, you know, two vital factors um, during these times with everything that's going on around us, being able to pick out uh, the voice of the Lord in the midst of the chaos of voices that we're being bombarded with on a daily basis, and then understanding our true identity right. um, and, and choosing to walk in it. Those are going to be the main things. You know, Jesus was questioned um, several times about what's the most important thing, what's the most important commandment. Yeah. And it came down to loving the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and then loving your neighbor as yourself. Right. And, and a lot of us um, may find that we're more comfortable on one side of that, of that equation versus the other, but we can rest uh, peacefully knowing that if we pursue loving God um, in heaven through the Word and the ways that we traditionally would understand knowing the Lord, but then we also seek to pursue Him in the form of His body here on the earth, right. then we can, we can be comfortable that we fulfilled the entire thing. And so um, I can't tell you how many times uh, I have prayed in the past for encounters, for visitations, uh, for the Lord to draw close to me, and then walked throughout my day and been disappointed that I didn't feel like He answered my prayer. Right. And, and the awakening that's taken place now to understand He actually heard my prayers, He right. answered them, but He sent people into my daily life and and he visited me in a way that i did not catch or understand that's so good and and yeah. so now i'm on this this adventure of waking up each day going lord i want to know you i want to see you no matter what container or package it comes through that's so good. and we're going to talk a little bit about that over the next few weeks both how we can understand our own identity yeah. and we can also see through the eyes of love to pull out the identity or the attribute, the image yeah. of Jesus in other people around us. Yeah, it's very liberating. Uh, so, yeah, I'm excited about it. It's a, it'll be a lot of fun, no matter what. Um, we'll have a good time, and uh, it's always a good time at the Father's house. So if you log in uh, on YouTube Live, if you're not uh, in the geographic <coughs> area here and you can't make it, log into the YouTube Live channel. Um, you'll be able to catch some of worship, and then we'll go into the teaching and, yeah. and have a good time together. Yeah, and, and I, I really mean it. It, it will be very liberating. Uh, it's a, the, the truth that we're going to be able to walk in from the revelations that are going to be shared are going to be awesome. So please try and come out if you can in person, and it's the next three weeks starting this Sunday. Thanks for taking time for hanging out with us today, and we'll catch you next time.